Hey guys, it's your, it's your boy, Scott and Hoodie in the Closet. Welcome back to another video. I just got done editing a little, little clip for today's video, and it's actually a rocket launch. So we had three rockets, two, um, two rockets that I had launched before. One of them I've had never ever fail, and that's including today. The other one, um, that rocket class is notorious for uh, not being recovered ever. And then the third rocket that I launched, had we had never launched it before, so we hadn't used that one before. So the first rocket launch was the one that we hadn't done before. Actually, I'm going to just let you all see the video, so we're going to cut to that now. Flipping saw, fire in the hole. Whoa! It worked! It did work. Ah! Oh, oh, I'm a runner! Go get it, Patty. Yeah, I was scared it wasn't gonna work. Oh. Alright, so go ahead and don't do it at the same time. Push down the light, push down the key until you know. Okay. Weapons hot, fire in the hole, Patty. Alright, so now that you guys have actually seen all the rockets uh, actually launch, I'm going to go ahead and go over them real quick. So, the first one that y'all saw was the one that we had never launched before. We had a B-class engine in it, which is the second least powerful one. So it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uh, all the way up to G. And G is for, like, college size model rockets. And A is for tiny little ones that are barely powerful enough to be called rockets. So we were using bees on the first one, and we had never launched it before. So, gave the command, fire in the hole. It went up, and it went up super high, and it's kind of windy today. So it went up, and it went over the school we were by. And I am notorious for landing rockets on top of schools. So we were like, that's on the school. And when we were walking back, we were like, it might have went past the school. So we went to go to go look, and I turn the corner, and I see this little glimmer in the, in the road, and I see the parachute in the road, and I'm like, no way. We actually got the rocket back, and the rocket was sitting there in the road, completely intact. Everything was there, and I was like, we actually got this back. This is the first time it's actually gone over the gone over the school. Like, I wonder how many times I've done this. So that was the first one. Mild success because we didn't even know if we were going to be able to recover it or not. So, mild success. Then the second one, I've never seen a fail fail so bad like this. And I was, in, in the video of the rockets, I said, we got it back, that's all I care about, in a super loud voice. Because I thought that we weren't going to recover the first one. So as long as we got the rocket back, um, I didn't care. And so what happened was, the way the rocket was designed, is that the threads that are at the end of the rocket, that go into the rod on the pole, on the stand of the rocket, on the rocket pod, light, good lord, rocket pad, were manufactured to where it was super close to the fins. So when you put the rod through the threads, it got um, like stuck on the on the pin. So I was like, it's either gonna sit here or blow up. And so I was like, all right, hit it, Patty, fire in the hole. And then he launched it, and it took the pin, the metal part, out of the stand, and it went right into a baseball field that was right next to us. 
So that's why it made a crazy turn. Is the center of gravity got thrown off because it took the pin with it. So it made a huge turn, landed right into a baseball field, and the rocket got destroyed. Can't use it again. So that one's decommissioned, but I was super excited that we actually got the rocket back. Um, even if the parachutes deployed, I don't think it would have done anything. So yeah. And then the last rocket was the Spirit, or as I call it, the Murica. So this one um, was was uh, like one of my favorite rockets because it's one of the rockets that we've gotten back every single time. And I was actually worried we were going to lose it today. So I was using a C engine, which is a little more powerful than a B engine, and it has a gunpowder release mechanism. So the way it works is that the engine burns through propelling it into the sky, and then at the end there's a little, like a little pop, and that's what makes the parachute pop out of the, out of the rocket and have it safely come down. So it shoots up, it pops, and there's no parachute. The nose cone's out, and then it's just hurtling towards the ground really quick. And I'm like, oh no, we're gonna lose it. And then we run over to go see it, and it's completely fine. No dents, no bends, nothing's broken. And I'm like, this is like a miracle because we got this back in one piece. This is surprising. So uh, we got all three of the rockets back in the end of the day. So it was a mild success um, apart from the second one that we launched because it took the pin with it. So that was a big problem. But um, apart from apart from that, uh, we did pretty well. Um, so the second rocket's not going to be launched again. I'm thinking about doing a live stream tonight on YouTube. I don't know of what. I might try and see if I can get gaming set up. Where I can screen share. And do some gaming. So I might try and see if I can do that tonight. Anyways... I think I'm going to wrap it up right about there. And that's also an addition to the Isolation 101 video is I got to go launch rockets. Because I found all this stuff under my bed and I was like, hey mom. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And always remember, don't forget a hoodie.